Hills Pet Nutrition, maker of Hills Science Diet, is being sued for falsely convincing American pet parents that boutique and grain-free diets cause DCM. Let's talk about it. DCM stands for dilated cardiomyopathy, and it's when the main pumping chamber of the heart is enlarged and it can't pump blood properly. Now, a couple things to note before we get started here. Number one, the lawsuit is being filed by Keto Natural, which is a popular pet food brand that does sell boutique, exotic, grain-free diets. A few other things, Hills Pet Nutrition brings in around $2 billion each year, and they were having a historically poor financial performance around 2018 and leading up to 2018. It starts with, quote, this lawsuit concerns an egregious, wide-ranging, and damaging campaign of coordinated, for-profit, faux-scientific misinformation by a large corporation. The lawsuit states that around 2018, Hills and entities associated with Hills, quote, carried out a scheme to falsely convince American dog owners that a massive, unrelated, and hugely diverse group of dog food products all increase the risk and severity of a deadly canine heart disease called dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM. Quote, they fraudulently induced the United States Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, to launch a high-profile investigation into DCM. They did this by cherry-picking DCM cases involving grain-free diets and submitting those to the FDA while simultaneously withholding cases involving grain-containing diets. When talking about one of the reports submitted to the FDA, they stated this, quote, significantly, 23 of the 28 canine cases in this report, or more than 80%, came from either Dr. Freeman or Dr. Aiden, unquote. These are two of the veterinarians that are being accused of this coordinated campaign along with Hills Pet Nutrition. The lawsuit continues, quote, the second strand of defendant's scheme, Hill's co-conspirators, the veterinarian defendants, authored study after study about DCM and then mischaracterized the findings. In reality, none of these papers actually found any meaningful correlation between non-traditional dog foods and either DCM incidence rates or shorter lifespans. However, the veterinarian defendants, as well as Hills itself, repeatedly and consistently pointed to the studies as evidence for the bogus claim that DCM is associated with non-traditional dog foods, when in reality, they do not support this claim. Because a major component of Hill's sales strategy is promotion and sale through veterinarians and veterinary clinics, the bogus claim that BEG diets, or boutique exotic grain-free diets, are associated with DCM was easily incorporated into sales and marketing materials provided to vets by Hills, who then passed the message along to their trusting clients. More than five years on, the FDA's investigation has still found no evidence that non-traditional dog foods play any role whatsoever in causing or exacerbating canine DCM." Unquote. What are your thoughts? As always, we're Bryce and Kenzie. Follow us for more dog and cat tips.